Welcome to the Hero Indian Super League's Sunday doubleheader. First up is Jamshedpur versus SC East Bengal with the Men of Steel within a couple of wins away from piling pressure on the top form. Jamshedpur continue with their 4-4-1-1 and not just the system but even the players. No changes from Owen Coyle from the win against Odisha which should have ideally been more than just 1-0. Six changes for East Bengal, including the return of Shubra Dapol. Sartak Golui and Saurav Das also made their Hero ISL debuts for the club as the think tank of Grant and Fowler pack midfield to stop Jamshedpur today. No wins in their last five. And quickly slipping down the table are SC East Bengal. Tony Grant and Robbie Fowler will hope that Tony's namesake Anthony Pilkington will score, uh, given that he's taken the most number of attempts for the red and golds who will play in white today. Jamshedpur walk into this on the back of three clean sheets and five points out of a possible nine. That is without Valskis getting among the goals. But as the season progresses, the top strikers step up. Valskis and that run has been talked about. And forwards do not like that kind of stat. There is only one way to end it. Of course, the big news is that Farouk is back, Len was fantastic and there is something different about this team now. East Bengal and Jamshedpur in the Hero ISL, they've both struggled this season but one of them are showing a desire to get back to winning ways, spurred by Owen Coyle and his abilities to make a team bounce right back. We saw what he did last season with Chennai in, and maybe some of that aura will be used to polish the men of steel, a win here will take them above Bengaluru into sixth. Goes for it up and almost down and into the back of the net. Got that dip, just the direction wasn't there. Steinman, Bright getting on the ball. And now Narayan Das looks up once, swings that left foot. Pilkington is there, but as a good defending in the end, just took it away. What a reverse pass that was by Bright and Abakari in the middle of the park. The build-up to that play, the ball came into him. And he's not even seen. Corner comes in. Oh! Sneaks in and gets it. Steinman to the rescue. Six minutes on the clock. And he's got the opening goal. He's been going on off the mark. Well, I said if Valsky scores the first free kick, then it would set this game up. That has definitely set the game up. They only had 10 men on the park. Magoma wasn't even on the park. Near post in swinging corner. And it's put right into that six-yard box. And you've got to give Steinman every credit there. He's just used the pace of the ball and guided it towards the far post. But they've gone in, it's gone into the back of the net. 50% of the goals scored from set pieces. That was always going to be a threat. Pilkington sets it up. Oh, gets it. Oof, a shot as well. Wow. Again, we're talking about coaching. We're talking about training ground routines. We've seen three already. And we're just coming to the 30 minutes drinks break. Great take, great connection of this first period. Raju Gaipat spears it in. Oh, oh, and again, it was Steinman. He's got to score. He's got to score. Welcome back. This is Jamshedpur against East Bengal. East Bengal are leading by one goal to nothing. Ricky has come on. He's made 13 starts, and this is his third substitute appearance. There he is. Narender has made way for him, left back for left back then. Nagoma has been involved in all of them and is once again, Narayan puts it in! Again, there was that chance to glance it in and it's a Steinman. It's an absolutely glorious ball in, it's a wonderful ball in there. Bright onto the second ball quickly. And now Narayan Das has been released, awkward for him, being in a scoring position, still goes for it, Rehanesh beats it away. What a goal that would have been for the left back. That's brilliant. I tell you, it's first class from Brighton and Bakari. Picks the ball up in midfield. But he's gonna. he's got one thing on his mind, and that's straight the ball and hit the target. That's exactly what he's done. Can't ask any more. Isaac. Into that channel for Farouk. Farouk squeezes it in. Valskis, this is where he's good from. And hits the woodwork, and it's come off. He's been gold riding their luck a little bit. Fortune has favoured them. Well, what did you see there? You see somebody get to the byline, Farouk Chowdhury, you see somebody in the penalty box who's used to scoring goals. It's not rocket science, but you see where Valskis' movement is concerned. He's held his run, 
and he's got in the penalty box. That's where he scored it. Steinman, Bilkington, narrow angle and a lot of power. And Bilkington is struck. It's been a wait, but he's been gold, really needed that. And he can sigh with relief. Bilkington slightly wincing, but he won't mind. The goal is worth it. I think we witnessed a little bit of this last night when Adisha had a little bit of spell of the game, and then all of a sudden, AT game one began, stepped on the gas, and that's exactly what SC's Bengal have done. Just at that moment, when you thought Jemshi Pro were just coming into the game and coming into a good part of the game, they've hit them on the counter. And it's not counter-attack and football has just hit them with half a chance by Pilkington, and he's beat the goalkeeper for power and pace at the near post. Top quality from him. Bright. This is where he likes it, up against Steven Eze. And Bright, he was looking for Pilkington. Nice floater, just a little too much on it. From the halfway lane, I actually knew what he was going to do, and he's probably crossed it that second too early, and it allows... Now here comes the ball, sort of that's on it. Bright gets the exchange. Pilkington, Bright is in space. Pilkington on his own! Oh! Once again, the post in the way, and then straight back to Rehenish. That's absolute counter-attack and play at its finest. It was absolutely brilliant defending, and then all of a sudden, Alain Das let Bright and Abakari play the pass. He can get the team to get confident Come in this on. business end. Ball put in. Isaac was waiting. Shifts onto the left side, hangs it up at the far post. Hartley, they've got a goal back. We're going to have an interesting last 10 odd minutes. Coyle checks his watch. Get back in position. It's not over. That's exactly what my thoughts are. You're going to have a very, very interesting last eight minutes of normal time. Corner comes in, defended well at the near post area at first. But then this stand up ball is inviting somebody to just go and head the ball over the line. Exactly what Peter Hartley does. My word, he's a man mountain of a captain, this lad. And he's when he's called upon. He scored an important goal to get them back into it. This is going to be a very, very interesting last eight minutes. At a time, heroics on the cards. Monroy sends it in. And great clearance once again from Raju. Again, that handball. Valskis this time, and it's palmed over. Well, it's a match-winning save. I've got to say, it's a match-winning save. Been waiting for that moment where it stood up. It's a very, very similar kind of move to the first goal that Jim Shippur scored. The ball stood up again. Same player, stands it up to the back post and Valskis comes and heads it. Is there one goal left in this? Monroy sends it in. And then touched away by Holloway and Rehnish with an acrobatic effort, it won't matter. East Bengal have won this 2-1 against the Jamshedpur. Robbie Fowler is a happy man. They have cut that streak. They were winless in the last five. Three massive points. East Bengal with Shubhra Paul on his return, gets a win, the senior pro. And Fox, brave as usual. And Jamshedpur, they did threaten, but in the end it was just not enough for Owen Coyle and his men. As it ends at full time, it's East Bengal 2, Jamshedpur 1.